What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. I see the guy King checking in again. And this time uh, I want to uh, have a what I like to call a big homie conversation. Uh, we work in the village type system and it takes each one of us to be in the village. And recently I've come across, like everybody, a lot of financial pivoting going on, trying to figure out what's the best move uh, for, diff for different uh, situations. For myself, I'm an entrepreneur, so I have a business over here. My wife is an entrepreneur. Uh, and then we also have full-time jobs as well. So uh, we were having a conversation about bankruptcy. And I did not, that's an area I'm not familiar in. I haven't had that topic come up thus far in my entrepreneur journey or just in my personal journey. But I told her I had a friend I had a friend that went through this process years ago. Uh, so he was uh, gracious enough to join us today on this uh, stream. And I'd like to introduce you to Coach G. Uh, quick story. I met Coach G back in 2007, if, if I believe. Uh, we worked together for a company uh, out of Tampa and uh, but I was located in Atlanta and he came up to train. They, they thought I should train him. But when I met him, we kicked it off and we had a we developed a work relationship that blossomed into a great friendship. And here we are 15 some odd years later. We still stay in contact and we bounce ideas off of each other. And uh, he's a great human being. And I'd like to introduce you to Coach G and then we could get into your story about uh, the bankruptcy. Yeah, what's up, fam? Uh, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, thank you, my man, for having me. And um, I'd be more than happy to help in any way I can with explaining to you and anyone else kind of sort of my testimony on um, how my Chapter 7 bankruptcy went and, you know, what are the pros and cons and, and different things of that nature. Okay. So start off by telling us, like, what was the situation you got yourself into that said, okay, yeah, now I need to get right. yeah. the options? So uh, from, from 2006 to about 2008, um, I called myself, uh, you know, a serious entrepreneur, a real estate investor. Um, I was buying up townhomes, residential homes, um, renting them out, and, and life was good, right? If, if anybody who uh, is older than, than uh, 30 years old, you know exactly what I'm talking about before the, the 2008 market collapse happened. It was heyday. And, um, and then, unfortunately, the uh, 2008 market collapse happened. And um, my employer, I was an engineer at the time working for uh, a builder, and they said, hey, you're going to have to uh, make a decision. You can either get laid off and um, we'll pay you two months of um, Sal salary and while you try to find a job um, or you can work in the warehouse and and take a um, thirty five thousand dollar pay cut um and i said whoa i don't I think said, i need that. yeah i said yeah i said that's 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 a crazy decision and i thought about it and i said you know if i take that pay cut and continue working uh i'm not going to be able to afford all of the the debt that i've incurred the monthly payments on them so i'm going to end up defaulting anyway Mm -hmm. And uh, then I looked at the market and I was like, man, you know what? With the collapse of everything, I foresee 2009, 2010, 2011, um, millions of bankruptcies. And I said, if I'm ever going to, to engage in a bankruptcy, now is the time. OK, because I'm going to be in the boat with everybody else. And <laughs> um, you know what? Let's just do it. So I went ahead and took um, being laid off. Um Took two months to really like figure out things. And I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pursue some online stuff as I'm claiming unemployment. And uh, so over a two year time span, 2009, 2010, um, I was able to be put in a boat where my income on paper and my debt on paper qualified me for a chapter seven bankruptcy. Now, Hold let on. me start you with the first to, lesson. I was about to say, so you have to qualify like. I'm assuming that your income yeah, was not what it once was. And then from that point, the debt outweighed the income, I guess. Is that right? 
Yeah, there's a rate. There's a ratio. I forgot exactly what the number is. I think it's like less than twenty thousand dollars a year or something uh, okay. for you to be able to qualify for a Chapter Seven based on, I guess, what the debt is. But the the most important thing for the viewers to understand at this point in the game is if you are considering bankruptcy, there's a Chapter Thirteen bankruptcy and a Chapter Seven bankruptcy. The main difference is this: in a Chapter Seven, everything you include in that bankruptcy gets dissolved it gets um you you get a record of dissolution i mean i forgot the exact word they use but it's dissolved the debt is dissolved it's it goes away you never have to pay it back is the most important thing with the chapter 13 bankruptcy you get to enter negotiations with the creditors and uh, they put you up on a payment structure where you pay little amounts of money per month but you do have to pay off all that debt that you have over you know a given amount of time so it's not like the debt just gets forgiven but in so the chapter is, one, seven, is one like better for like personal versus business i can't i can't speak on business or personal what i just simply can't speak on is would you rather never having to pay the debt back and have right. it completely forgiven or would you rather uh, set up a payment structure and pay it over time, you know, that you can afford? Obviously, you want it all forgiven where it's just wiped clean, right? There's another pro with a Chapter 7 bankruptcy besides the debt just being wiped clean. The okay. pro is even though the initial bankruptcy hurts your credit, very soon after the bankruptcy is complete and the debt is wiped clean, you do get a favorable position with new creditors because they know that all your debt has been wiped clean so you have no monthly payments hardly at all on any debt number two you cannot legally file for chapter seven bankruptcy again for seven years mm. so they know any credit they give you today there's no way you're filing bankruptcy on it for at least the next seven years okay so it's almost a safer bet for them to offer you credit right after a chapter seven bankruptcy and that's what i uh incurred i think my credit dropped to like i don't know like 600 580 or something like that like within the first six months after the bankruptcy okay but then like after six months my credit jumped to like 680 uh because there was there was no debt and everything was paid off and then i started getting credit offers and you know opened a credit card got a car so on and so forth and the credit jumped to like 750 fairly quickly i was okay. like that's crazy like i think if more people knew that they wouldn't be so scared of, of doing a chapter seven bankruptcy and i can only recommend a chapter seven bankruptcy right. if you are eligible for a bankruptcy so, so let me ask you this some people might have like a house and then they get like a couple of cars with that chapter seven can you uh like pick and choose what goes on there or is it like you have to do all or nothing i was able to pick and choose um i i believe that um as i filed out the filled out the um the forms mm -hmm. uh there's a different classification for for different types of debt and you know i was able to include any and all that i that i chose to uh include besides oh, nice. the loans so let yeah. me ask you another question. Is this something that because I know you, you're you're one of the few people that I use this term with is like you're like a genius. And would you say that you did this on your own or did you like seek legal advice? Did you go through a lawyer? Like, how did that go? Yeah, that's a um, that's a deep question and it deserves a deep answer. OK, um, you know, based based on your subscriber uh, yeah, classification, I, I'm not sure they're ready for the deep answer. Um, what I can tell you is yes, I did it myself. Okay. Uh, I did my due diligence, um, you know, look at all the stipulations, the laws, the regulations, um, the rules, the process, and did, did what I needed to do to fill out all the paperwork myself and get it filed with the clerk of court. Um, it's not for the faint hearted. It's, it's it's not something that anyone should engage in by themselves unless they are uh, used to diving into text and right. doing due diligence and knowing what's up with with everything. Um, but I will say, uh, you know, bankruptcy lawyers, um, I, don't, I mean, I think it was like three thousand five hundred to um, have a bankruptcy lawyer do the whole thing. Um, so thirty five hundred or. 
sit down and bunker down and and i'm assuming you did that within that two months of you not working so you had the time to give yeah, it I, had, I had two years of time oh. to uh yeah I, I collected unemployment checks for two years and oh, okay. i had yeah so i had a lot of time to okay. to read and up on everything um yeah, I mean, you know, it, I I had over five hundred thousand dollars worth of debt that I needed to get rid of. That I right. knew uh, there's no <laughs> way I'm going to pay this back anytime soon with what's going on, and I would rather just get it all wiped clean and start start over brand right. new. Um, and so I I was really adamant about doing a bankruptcy, and when I found out I was eligible for the Chapter Seven, um, you know, I was I was running full speed after it, right. but. Um, I think the reason I didn't go with the lawyers because once I found out, you know, I had gotten, you know, quotes from many different law for firms on what it would be. Right. And then I said, you know what? I'm looking at the paperwork. I'm reading all of the statutes and stipulations and the right. order pro and the, the process. Of, I said, I can do this. I, I can do this, you know? So I did. And um, here, here, here we are uh shoot that was 2009 and it finally got the full uh closure in 2010 and it's so it's 2024 now bro would you believe me i got a 815 credit score and i don't think that i've done currently or differently. how long did it take for you to get i know you said initially it jumped up 80 80 points. yeah it jumped it jumped up uh, fast. I, I, what took me, it took me seven years to let the bankruptcy fall off the, um, actually it was 10 years. I'm sorry. I think that chapter seven stayed on for 10 years, not seven. Pretty sure it was 10 years. Um, anyway, I forgot. It's either seven or 10, but when it fell off, the credit score, uh, really jumped up. And, uh, as I have figured out the, the credit game, um, that's how I was able to get it over at 815. Uh, okay. The only reason I don't have an 850 is because uh, of credit history. If right. you know, I could, I could lean on some people to uh, put me on like a 30, 40 year old uh, credit account. Right. But if I did have a 30 to 40 year old credit account, I think I'd be right. A one good to go. Yeah. Well, damn, man. I think you. Uh, I don't really have that many more questions uh, for our viewers and even for myself. Uh, I still would recommend you do your own due diligence. I don't want anybody calling me or Coach G talking about yeah. me not to do the lawyer and you try to do it in the weekend. This uh, is not financial advice. This is for entertainment right. purposes only. <laughs> right. right. But you de you definitely gave a lot of information that I think should help people make a sound decision moving forward with their own personal uh, objective, whatever it is they're trying to do. Um, you know, I remember jokingly when I called uh, Coach Coach G about, you know, my thoughts of like, hey, I I, I got this one company and I'm like in debt like forty thousand, and you laugh. <laughs> he laughed, but he said, "Man, mine was five hundred thousand," and uh, and then that that helped me put it in perspective. Like I'm over here tripping over this, and and this other people that's yeah. have like seven times what I got. So. You know, uh, but I definitely I think it's a great tool because uh, I know a lot of people like myself. I don't really hear people talking about bankruptcy as an option. And like you said, like over a decade ago, you've already utilized it and you back at the you back at the top of the the the, the molehill, you know. So uh, but that's 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 great. And I appreciate your time and hopefully we'll get you on here again to talk about more in-depth different type of conversations yeah, yeah yes sir i'll say i'll say two things though um because you know i don't I, I need to give credit where it's due um the reason i had the courage to really look into bankruptcy is because um the owner of the engineering firm that i was working at he had filed bankruptcy three times and he told me Whoa. about it and he was a multimillionaire. and i was, was like oh no. i was like this no 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 that was uh oh. his, I said, how in the Somebody world else. did he file three times over, you know, 30 years? 
they still make it big. And it was just perseverance. It was just not giving up, you know, learning what you need to learn. Everything's not going to be successful and uh, building upon what you learn. And then I found out Donald Trump has filed bankruptcy mm-hmm. several times, uh, in, you know, through his businesses. And I was right. like, you know what? This needs to be par, par for the course. Right. <laughs> Start, hey, let's take that money again. Start over, right? Right. Hey, but and the other thing, you know what made me die laughing when when I told you that um, you know I was in debt over five hundred k, and and that's what I got written off uh, in the bankruptcy. And you said, man, I'm over here with forty k, and I think it's over. <laughs> yeah, like you said, you know, when the times are good, <sighs> that's all you see. You see is good, and and in the back of your mind, if you're like, you know somebody that's thinking that like it's not gonna be good all the time but when it was good it was good and you know i had ease and flows and i'm like oh we last month was slow but then this is but then this is like the first time in a long time where i've been low for several months in a row so i it's, it put me in a different space a comfort i'm no longer in the comfort zone and I feel like I'm clawing, trying to figure out ideas. And I remember in the recesses of my mind that you told me about what you did. So, uh, you know, so, and, and, you know, that's what I want these uh, videos to be about is uh, two uh, great individuals, two husbands, two fathers. And I have great conversations with a lot of people. And I feel like if people just could be a fly and listen to what we saying or what our conversations are about, it could benefit a lot of different people. And that's, that's where I got this whole concept to do this. So, but uh, awesome, I know, you, I know you told me you got limited time, wife, you're getting ready to come home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I really appreciate this. And I also want to get you back on here again. So we could, we have a several different topics uh, that we conversation yeah. that we talk yeah. about all the time. So i tell you what, uh, uh, YouTube fam, if y'all give this video a thousand likes, then we'll do 10 more videos on numerous topics. All right. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that'll be the challenge. Yeah. And you can also leave comments saying what you want our next conversation to talk about. We'll let you know if we have any uh, knowledge in that. If I do, if or Coach G does, then, you know, we'll ask him as well. So uh, we appreciate everybody. You know, uh, hey, Coach G, I salute you, man. Yes, sir. Until All next right. time. Yes, sir. Daddy. Hey, babe.